Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. We're about to enter the Space Paranoids for our second main visit. Hey Aerith, help Tron until the program's done. Don't worry, I'll handle things here. I hope you can. <laughs> this device allows you to see Tron. <laughs> I don't see him. What's going on? Alright, let's access the computer. And we have to go to the pit cell. strange how that laser just like beams you into cyberspace. That's a lot of Heartless. <laughs> Gorge! Hope Tron's okay! Me too. Let's head for the game grid. Great! The terminal works! Let's go! Back in the pit cell. Tron's been keeping the MCP in check so far, right? But if the MCP's interfering with the outside, Tron may be in trouble. We can get you the game area Tron is in from the terminal! Let's hurry! Handed over all synthesis materials. Nothing there. Alright. Gotta head to the light cycle area. Finished? Would be, if it weren't for the old loon's magic. Old loon, you say? I'm trying to work here. No, <laughs> I'll show you who's old. Done! Really, Merlin? For real? There you go, Leon. One homemade program. A loony wizard special. This had better work. I'm off. Be on your guard. What the heck, Merlin? He just blew up the computer! <laughs> Proof that Merlin is the worst. Dang, Tron. Tron! Careful! Watch out! Ah! Hold on! Defeat all of the Heartless. We're saving you, Tron. I wish there wasn't such a long wind-up on the Mag- on Magnera. Slash, just the magnet spells in general. These guys are annoying! Take that. Quick play! Blam! Hey, take that. There we go. Magnum motors are easy, it's those devastators that are annoying. You really saved me. Don't mention it. What's going on here? The MCP is ready to wage all-out war against the users. What's been happening on the outside? Well, there's this machine for making Heartless, it's gone totally berserk. The town's control system is having problems, too. But Sid's putting together a program that can de-res the MCP. Once we pick it up at the I.O. Tower, he thinks we can use it to stop the MCP for good. Let's try it! Great! So who's this Sid? He's a friend of ours. Leon, Merlin, Aerith, Yuffie. They're all on the outside worrying about you, Tron. I must have a lot of user friends. That program ought to be done by now, don't you think? It says, it's led by someone who has no idea how programming and testing software works. <laughs> Turn a tower! Let's go. 
Like, you gotta test software, like, a whole bunch before it actually does what you want it to, generally. Sorry, Donald. You're out. <laughs> Doggone it! Oh, lame. I can't even get auto change on, even if I unequip item boost. Oh, well. Tron's a little better than Donald, I would say. Got cannon guns in here. That's interesting. Ooh, cannon guns drop blazing stones. Nice. Can I reach that puzzle piece? No, not yet. Ouch. They can just, like, pull out attacks like that out of nowhere. That's why if you can time the Reflaris right, oh man, that, that'll do a lot of damage. The data space. Man, Magnet, and Reflect are really good. <laughs> Alright, I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, Strafers, they're easy. Strafers drop lightning crystals? Really? These weak little guys? I thought only Devastators did that. Oh, can we reach the puzzle piece from in here, though? Nope. <laughs> Not enough. I bet if we've maxed out Valor Form and with uh, Master Form, we can get it. Anyhow, off to the IO Tower. Leon's not that good. I remember having him as a party member. He kind of sucked. Almost there. I was about to be like, oh no, one strafer. Also, I like how the decisive pumpkin keyblade looks very different in the Tron world. It's a blue candy cane. And I just like matching triangle. Makes the finisher really powerful. Ooh, nice. Level up for Sora. I should probably duck. Aw, oh, man. That's right, I have once more, but not second chance. Alright, let's try this fight again, shall we? <laughs> Those Devastators might be my least favorite common enemies to deal with in the game. They can just turn invincible and start hitting you at any time. Magnet is very useful for taking them out. As is Reflera. Run. 
being executable. There we go. It was a little risky doing Tron's Limit instead of healing myself, but whatever. I also did not have to pop any for there, but I chose to. Alright, here you are, Leon. Warning. User control is terminated indefinitely. No good. Leon, let me try. I'm very good at computers. This is your final warning. Stop at once. Bon appetit. Don't talk with your mouth full. <laughs> Leon's like, what? What are you loading? <laughs> Use the disk drive, Leon. <laughs> Nothing's come in yet. Leon, come on! There. All right! <laughs> this looks interesting. Very nice. What's it like? This is very strange. That's my little spy trick. Huh? There's a power booster for me. And flight routines for the solar sailor. Meaning we're set? Well, like you users say, we won't know till we give it a try. We'll need a sailor to reach the MCP, so let's get to the simulation hangar. Sounds good. Tron learned a new ability. Is it really just a new ability, or is there like a bunch of new abilities? Tron learned, nope, he learned quite a few. Thunder boost, MP haste, yeah, I want MP haste on. Oh, Tron, if only you could equip thunder boost. <laughs> But alas, I don't want you to. I'm not using AP boosts on you. We can get to the simulation hangar by leaving here and heading straight. Yep, that's true. Users are amazing. I've never seen a program like this. Now I can use the Solar Sailor. I can access the MCP. It looks like this is the end game. I wonder what the Solar Sailor will be like. I'm looking forward to this. Good for you, Donald. Bookmasters, what are you doing in the space paranoids? Nice job. Ooh, this is gem. And a and a sentry robot, eh? Simulation hanger. Let's see what this is like. Oh, hey, Magnum loaders. Oh, no, not Magnum loaders. Security robots. <laughs> Remember that in reaction command that we did in the Battle of Cousin Heartless? We can do it to lesser effect uh, here as well. It looked like Goofy was sailing on his shield. We're at the Solar Sailor now. Did you hear that? The Solar Sailor moves on waves of light. 
If it's too heavy, it'll slip off the waves and eventually fall. The view was great, but I feel like a sitting duck for the enemy. Okay. The Solar Sailor doesn't have a defense system. The MCP isn't stupid. It'll attack the simulation. We have to defend it. We have to defend it. Yep. Got to keep a lookout. The MCP isn't going to just let us waltz in. <laughs> oh, is that so? Oh no. Not Devastators. My arch enemy. The Solar Sailor is overloaded. Eliminate the enemies before the time limit goes off. Tron, running executable. Well, let's start out with Tron's limit, shall we? With this much weight, the Solar Sailor won't be uh, able to fly. I also am going to summon Stitch once this is all over. Give me strength! This is it! Thanks, Stitch. Stitch kept parrying and stuff. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> it's like the solar suit was gonna crash. I'm obliterating them all. What do you What do you want from me? <laughs> I even took my party members off, and Stitch is a uh, high devastators. Not let me use Rufflera. Thank you, Stitch. <laughs> oh, that was it. Oh yes, Sora gets Explosion. Donald gets MP Hastera. Explosion is one of the best abilities in the game. I was wondering when we were gonna get that. Stitch makes that fight a whole lot easier. <laughs> The MCP is straight ahead. Time to settle things for good. And we get our MP back. Nice. All right. Donald's new ability is MP Hastro. That need, he needs three more AP for that. All right. Uh, I do like having him having hyper healing. I'm gonna unequip MP Rage for the time being, give him MP Astra, that'll be a little better. Alright, so I can equip Explosion! Unleashes a finishing combo move that knocks down several enemies. Damage dealt is relative to magic skill. This, whole, this is one of the best ground combo finishers. You'll basically be surrounded by a bunch of glowing orbs that'll rapidly damage all nearby enemies. It deals a lot of damage. Alright, that's pretty nice. Some chests here. We've got Oracalcum Plus in one chest, so we now have three out of the seven in the game. And we get an AP boost in that one. There's also a computer here. We can access the research lab or the light cycle from here. The time's finally come to settle things with the MCP. But the MCP still has lots of minions. Be careful, everyone. If we could just defeat the MCP, the outside city should return to normal. If we don't do something, Leon and the others don't stand a chance. The MCP is well protected. First we'll have to hack his defense. Then we can start deleting him until he's erased. He's only data after all. Oh, and we got two big chests here. This one contains the central computer core map. And then this one 
contains the cosmic arts, highly increases strength and magic, and extraordinarily increases maximum AP. That sounds like an item we want Sora to have. Yes, please. That's really good. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Goofy has the cosmic rain. Yeah, you can keep that, Goofy. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Hey, Sark. Who is that? Sark, the MCP's number two. Tenacious little bugs. Your time is up. Prepare for de-resolution. So now we get to fight Sark. As well as some Heartless. Also, you need Tron in your party for the fight against the MCP. Yeah, that's explosion. It just insta-killed everything. Yeah. Sark is a very easy fight. Data transfer. Data transfer. Where'd he go? Take that. Sark is a very easy fight, even though I almost died. You're very persistent, Tron. I'm also better than you. <laughs> uh, we would have made a great team. Ouch. Tron don't care. Now for the MCP. This thing is the MCP? That's it. Ugly, isn't it? Yep. Tron, don't you understand? We don't need users. We've advanced. They're superfluous. Be a part of me, and together the world will be ours to control. MCP, you still don't get it, do you? Sark! Sark! All my functions are now yours. Oh, he's huge now. So now we get the final fight in the Space Paranoid, Sark and the MCP at the same time. So Sark, you can't actually kill, but you can knock him out temporarily. Oh, hi, uh, I am low on HP. Also, I do not recommend using summons in this fight. So if you attack his legs, they'll crack, and then we can attack his head, because he'll be crouched on the ground. Once we attack his head, we'll knock him out, so he won't bother us. Now what we can do is we can attack these walls here. I'm gonna enter Valor form and use Tron's a bit uh, reaction ability here, and now we can start mashing the triangle to whittle away at the MCP's HP. If you're in Valor form, you will deal more damage during this reaction command. Also, the, re the damage you deal with this reaction command is dependent not on your actual power of your reaction commands, but rather just on the physical strength of your Keyblades, which is why I put the two highest strength Keyblades. <laughs> also, Tron needs to be alive in order for you to use this delete reaction command. Dog on it. Take that. Also, you normally need a combo finisher in order to finish off someone's HP. You can also use the aerial ability horizontal slash. Oh, okay. Yeah, Tron is dead right now. Kinda need you to come back to life. There we go. This is 
a very interesting fight. Ouch! That hit really hard. Holy cow. I mean, I know it's critical mode and all, but come on. Oh, really? We have to do all of this again? I'll also equip Defender for Sora. I, b I may have survived if I had that on. Alright, no MP Rage, MP Haste Drive instead. Take that, Sark. <laughs> yeah, Explosion! Explosion and Guard Break with Finishing Plus just deals ridiculous damage. Form is actually the worst the user can do. Oh, hey, Sark, you're back. Sark is really pathetic in this fight. Alright, let's try this now. Goofy, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you can also stop the reaction command prematurely to try to avoid that attack. Yeah, but if you summon Stitch, you aren't able to damage the MCP at all because you need Tron to be out and alive in order to... Ouch! Sark's basically just there to get in your way when you're actually trying to attack the doors to uh, hit the MCP. One more time and we'll be able to do it. Alright, Tron, let's finish this! Provided Sark doesn't hit us. Take that! And we get the final reflect element, which gives us Refluga. Refluga is the most broken magic spell in the whole game. It is insane. He's like, no! Tron has a silly side, too. <laughs> I learned it from you. Of course, I do have my silly limits. Okay, then I'll tweak your program when I get back to the user world. You? Maybe we better not try Yeah. <laughs> oh, how about it, guys? Sing in Tron? Dance in Tron. No, Sorry. not after Atlantica. <laughs> Never mention singing again. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. But before I crash, Sora, Donald, Goofy, 
and all the users out there. Thank you. You really helped me. You made me so much stronger. You taught me what friendship is truly all about. Aww. And I'll never forget it. I like Tron's art. As soon as I met you, I knew we were going to defeat the MCP and free the system. this what users do when they're sorry to say goodbye? Uh, it's a first for me. Sora's never gotten hugged. Well, that's like a promise that we'll see. Well, that's not true. Keep one. Soon. Okay. Well then. Look how much Tron has grown. Holy cow. He's also probably like the optional party member that gets closest to Sora, which is interesting. I promise. Most of the party members are like, oh yeah, we're friends of Sora, but like he he and Sora seem to be total Where bros, which is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Tron. Now Tron's going to become the new MCP. But like a good guy version. down in town the only heartless left anywhere are the local variety and it looks like there are fewer than before now if we can just get those three back in one piece this speaking of which Aerith you're here welcome back how's the town a-okay not a single trace of the MCP either Everything's back to normal. We made it. Hey, why the long face? What happened? Tron just disappeared. And he promised we'd see him again. Run! What's happening? Greetings, friends. System is up and ready for user input. Tron! Tron! Yay! Stay in touch. Yeah. I'm boy, I'm boy. Hey, stop that. It tickles. Tron is ticklish? <laughs> How about this? Please, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tron's been hanging around those guys too much. <laughs> wait, wait, just a moment. I want to show you something I dug up from the system archives. You can see the town back when it was first built. <laughs> Whoa, what's with those lights? <laughs> Claude's like, I don't care. <laughs> That's right. I remember now. Just like the old days. Hmm. I'd be fascinated to ascertain as to when the town got such a dreadful name as Hollow Bastion. That's a cool name. <laughs> now there's pixie dust everywhere. No, those are pop rocks. Oh, cool! <laughs> You know, this town had another name once. Hmm? Radiant Garden. So now Hollow Bastion is known as Radiant Garden. And we have officially cleared it. There we are! Radiant Garden, all three key keyholes. We've done it! We did it! Woohoo! 
Only thing to do left now is go back to Twilight Town and start the end game. Yes, we're finally approaching the end of the game, but we'll have to do that next time on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Color Florida. Look forward to that. And until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.